Good morning. My name is Ravi Kumar, and my topic is I M A Q Motion Control General Applications. I M A Q is image acquisition. It is a highly flexible image acquisition device that supports supports a diverse range of camera link compatible cameras from various camera companies. I M A Q Vision for Lab View is a part of Vision Development Module. This module includes the same imaging functions for lab windows and other C development env environments. This is used to develop machine vision and scientific image applications. Image acquisition vision control palette is available from the top level of the controls palette. The image acquires digital image in real time and stores the image in onboard frame memory or transfers them directly. to system memory imaq image control it is a type of definition that describes the image data type imaq display use we use this control to display images directly on the lab view from front panel if you are using in lab view 7.0 image vision controls we use these controls to get the functionality of corresponding image acquisition vision these are the symbols for the control panel palette the first one is the image display and the second one is the image control and last one is the image vision control image vision functional palette image management a group of vi's that manages image we use these vi's to create and dispose images set and read attributes of an image such as its size and offset and copy one image to another you can also use some of the advanced vi's to define the border region of an image and access the pointer to the image data image files a group of vi's that read images from files write images to files in different file formats and get information about the image contained in a file external display a group of vi's that control the display of images in external image windows we use these vi's to complete the following tasks get and set window attributes such as size position and zoom factor assign colors to image windows set up and use image browsers set up and use different drawing tools to interactively select ROIs on image windows detect draw events and the functions of image processing processing a group of vi's that process grayscale and binary images we use this vi to convert a grayscale image into a binary image using different threshold te techniques you can also use these vi's to transform image images using predefined or custom lookup tables change the contrast information in the image and invert the values in an image filters a group of vi's that filter an image to enhance the information in the image we use these vi's to smooth an image remove noise and highlight or enhance edges in the image you can use a predefined convolution kernel or create custom convolution kernels morphology a group of vi's that perform morphological operations on an image some of these vi's perform basic morphological operations such as dilation and erosion on grayscale and binary images other vi's improve the quality of binary images by filling holes in particles remove particles that touch the image border removing particles and removing unwanted particles based on different shape characteristics of the particle another set of vi's in this sub palette separate touching particles skeleton of particles and detect circular particles and the next one is the frequency domain a group of vi's that analyze and process images 
in the frequency domain. We use this VIS to convert an image from the spatial domain to the frequency domain using a two-dimensional fast Fourier transform and convert the frequency domain to the spatial domain using the inverse Fourier transform. These VIs also extract the magnitude, phase, real and imaginary planes of the complex image. In addition, these VIs allow you to convert complex images into complex 2D arrays and back. Also in this sub palette are VIs that perform basic arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division between a complex image and other images or a constant. Lastly, some of the VIs allow you to filter images in the frequency domain. M machine vision. The first one is to select region of interest, a group of VIs that allow you to select the region of interest tool. Draw a specific, draw specific region of interest in the image window and return information about region of window interest with very little programming. The next one is the coordinate system, a group of VIs that find a coordinate system associated with an object in an image. We use this VIs to find the coordinate system using either edge detection or pattern matching. You can then use this coordinate system to take measurements from other machine tools. The next machine vision tool is to count and measure objects. A VI that thresholds an image to isolate objects from the background and then finds and measures characteristics of the objects. This VI also can ignore unwanted objects in the image when making measurements. Machine measure intensity. A group of VIs that measure the intensity of a pixel at a point or the statistics of a pixel intensities along a line or rectangular region in an image. Measure distances. A group of VIs that measures distances such as minimum and maximum horizontal distance between two vertical vertically oriented edges or the minimum and maximum vertical distances between two horizontally edges locate edges a group of VIs that locate vertical horizontal and circular edges find patterns a VI that learns and searches for a pattern in an image this block diagram illustrates how to create an image acquisition vision applications here the first step is to set up the image system and calibrate your image system and the next step is to create an image acquire or read an image and we after reading an image we need to display an image attach calibration information and after attaching the information we need to analyze an image and after analyzing there may be any noise associated with the image and afterwards we have to improve the image here there are three factors by which we can improve the image first one is the grayscale or color measurements particle analysis and machine vision here the color measurements can in this we can improve the color of the image and the next one is the particle analysis in this we can remove the party noise associated in the image and next one is the machine vision and this is the continuation for creating the application first we need to define the region of interest in which we are we need to create an image measure the grayscale statistics or measure color statistics in grayscale statistics we are measuring the pixel values from 0 to 255 and in color statistics we are in, we are checking the color of the image the next step is to create a binary image here in this binary image is a combination of zeros and ones in a matrix form 
and after creating the matrix of a binary image and we need to improve the binary image and after improving we we make the particle measurements and in this next step locate objects to inspect here we need to check the objects which we need to test set areas search areas and one side is find measure measurement points convert pixel coordinates to real world coordinates make measurements and the other side is identify parts under inspection classify the objects read characters read barcodes and finally we display the results these are the steps required to create an application for image acquisition thank you